What's up YouTube? Just wanted to make a quick video here and just give you a quick comparison of uh, the Spark um, 118 scale GT3R by Manti Racing and I already made a video on this one. This is just a bit of a comparison video between the two. Um, so looking at them both from a realistic perspective definitely the the Spark definitely does look you know, more real, more realistic. Um, the paint is a lot more shiny and, and glossy versus the Mini Champs. But there are some things on the Mini Champs that I do like more than the Spark. Spark, I've said before, is amazing, but do you see the little green speckle there on the, uh, on the splitter? That's the paint is actually uh, missing. The wheel gapping in the back. Uh, the tire is completely pressed against the rear part of that uh, archway of the fender where the paint has actually come off. Um, it's like that on the other side as well. Probably even worse. You see here, sorry. The paint is completely coming off. Um, but other than that, the car looks good. The paint is really, really good. This phone sucks. There we go. Um, again, from a realistic standpoint, it looks awesome. Everything is sealed on this as well as on the Mini Champs. But what I like on the Mini Champs, everything kind of fits. The gapping is all good. Um, there we go, now it's clear. And I think a big part of that is the profile on these tires is a little bit smaller, a little skinnier than the ones on the Spark. The Spark, they're quite fat, these tires, so I think they take up pretty much too much of that, um, that archway there in the wheel well, and that's why um, it does that. So Spark is definitely more detailed on the inside of the car. Um, the only place where I really do like the Mini Champs more is when you come to the back here of the two cars and you put them side by side. I can tell you right now that the Mini Champs actually looks better. So here's the Mini Champs. Okay, you see the exhaust tips, you see the decaling, the GT3R logo there on the back. You come to the Spark, not as nice. The exhaust doesn't look as good. The rear brake lights don't look as good. And there's the Mini Champs. So the one part where the Mini Champs really shines is definitely the rear of the car is a lot better on the Mini Champs. Um, that's, the, that's the main place where I think it's actually better than the Spark. Um, but overall, like from a price perspective, this was like 160 bucks. And this one, by the time it was shipped and came to the door, was probably around 230, 240. So there is a price difference. So if you think it's worth the extra money, then yeah, you should definitely, you know, go with the Spark. It is a little bit more detailed, a little bit more realistic looking, because again, it's resin. This is, I think, a, a die cast composite, so it's a little bit different than the resin. But for 160 bucks, if you're not planning to look inside the car, you're just putting it on a shelf and you just want the basic sort of, you know, look of having one of these GT3Rs by Manti Racing. Um, they are coming out. It's available now. They have this one, the 912 um, by Mini Champs as well. So you can also get that if you don't really like the, uh, the 911 version here, the yellow with the green. You like more of the green with the yellow. That is coming out. Um, as my final sort of thought, yeah, they're both, uh, they're both really, really good, but... Quality control sometimes on Spark, as I've said, you know, the wheel gapping, the paint missing on the back, the, the rear of the car does not look as realistic, the paint there missing on the front splitter, it's green. I, at first I thought that could come off and then I realized that, yeah, it's actually painted black over top of the green. So um, the brakes, definitely way better on the Spark, really realistic. On the Mini Champs, eh, not so much. If you're really wanting to nitpick on details, definitely go with Spark, but um, 
just expect that there are probably going to be a few things that you might not like about it or you might find some imperfections with. Um, that has been with every spark I've had with my RSRs, with my 919, I took it out. The whole like front splitter, uh, spoiler on the front fell off, had to re-glue it. Um, where these ones, they don't really seem to have any of that. Many Champs has always been pretty good at the thing kind of coming, um, I don't know, pretty, pretty perfect to be honest. Yes, the paint on the other one is nicer and it should be considering it is a more expensive you know, uh, model, but for 160 bucks, I still think this is uh, a really great buy. And now that they are making this one, which was the actual winning car for 2018, the 24 hours of Nürburgring, this is probably the one to get if you're gonna get one, you can get it by this, or now Mini Champs is making it as well. So anyways, guys, just a quick comparison, just wanted to kind of put it into perspective. Uh, if you're on a budget, 160 bucks shipped to the door. I found them on eBay for that price. You know, 240 plus for the Spark. Is it worth the price difference? Hmm. If you need the most detailed car and you're really going to be looking at it with a fine tooth comb, yeah, definitely go with, with the Spark. It looks awesome, but there are imperfections where this one, not really any imperfections, but yeah, you know, the brakes, maybe not so much. The paint is good, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot more glossy. But I think part of the reason why is this is also like a really vibrant, like neon sort of green where this is just more of a yellow with some green accents. So maybe that's part of uh, why I'm, I'm saying that. But anyways, can't go wrong with either one, guys. Manti Racing GT3R by Mini Champs and by spark. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.